Okay, good evening. Welcome to the weight loss challenge this week. So this is a, um, part six of our online weight loss challenge here at Shape of Oz. So uh, this week we're going to talk about digestive health and how it's important. But I thought just before we start into digestive health that we'd actually just quickly review the things that we've talked about in the past six weeks. So we've talked about protein, we've talked about how much protein you need to have in your diet each day and why it's important. If you missed one of those early calls, then feel free to send me a message at Shape Up Oz on Facebook and I'll uh, work with you and we can work out how much protein you need. I just need a few bits of information off you. And uh, we also talked about water and how it's important to drink lots of water, particularly now going into summer, we need to increase our water intake. Water is really important actually in digestive health as well as many other areas of health. We talked about snacking and we've talked about meal planning. They sort of work together really and this week I'm going to um, put up some information over the weekend about how we plan our meals here at home and the sorts of things we eat, the sort of things we avoid um, and also uh, look about perhaps how we rework some of the meals. You have to excuse this silly message. Um, don't show again. Okay. Um, look at how we rework meals so things that we change things that we've swapped. Um, we've read the labels over time and found some healthier alternatives that work for us. So um, that will be coming on the website this week on our Facebook page. So this week, digestive health. How does your digestive system work and why is it key for weight loss? So just a few um, key facts here. Your digestive tract is nine meters long. That's really quite a big length of hose pipe. Um, if you actually laid out nine meters, that would be quite a long distance. And you've got to imagine that's all folded up inside your body. Um, and that's why sometimes we have, you know, those funny pains as, the, as food goes through if our digestive system isn't quite um, as good as it should be. It takes six to eight hours for your food to move through from your stomach into your small intestine. So if you eat a big meal, it's going to take that long for your body to actually move that food out of your stomach. So if you're starting to feel full, that's the time to stop eating. Remember, your body takes about 20 minutes to realise it is full. So if you're starting to feel full, you, you certainly are. Um, interestingly, I learnt last week that your stomach is only the size of your fist. So when you're thinking about portion control, your fist is a really good um, match. So put your fist next to your dinner. If your meal is significantly bigger than your fist, where's it going to go? Um, so just that, I think that's quite a useful one. I know last week I posted a picture of Ellen Blackmore's hand against her meal. Um, yeah, it's a similar idea. Just something to give, give you an idea of portion control. Um, ideally, you need to be consuming between 25 and 30 grams of fibre per day. Now, the research is saying that most people have less than 20 grams, and obviously that's quite significantly less. That's like a two -thirds, uh, only two thirds of what you actually need each day. So you're only, your health is going to um, be negatively impacted by that. Um, just a bit of a tip when we're looking at labels, look for products with at least 5% fibre or more. That's a, probably a good um, thing to have in your mind. Um, and also when you're looking at sugar, really less than 13 grams per 100 grams, less than 13% is, is a key target to be looking for. And the great thing about Herbalife products is that's exactly where they are, just under that 13% mark. And obviously if you're going to increase that, your fibre, so you can hit that 25 to 30 grams, um, eating your five veggies and two fruit per day will help you to get that good fibre into your body. And that, that particular strategy has been advertised by a number of governments over the last few years um, as a strategy to help you get that fibre up and also increase your nutri nutritional um, in nutrition. So just a note, if you're, you're going to now obviously run away and you're going to go and increase your fibre intake, but make sure when you do that you increase your water intake because you need water with the fibre in order to help it move through your body, keep your digestive system clear. But without water, you're probably going to be a little bit constipated. So make sure you drink lots and lots of water. Um, we need to make sure that you promote the growth of friendly bacteria in your intestines. So our aloe products and our flora fibre products are really good for cleansing on the inside and helping your body stay really, really clean. So the flora fibre works by effectively scrubbing very gently the inside of your intestine as it goes through, but it also has those friendly bacteria that we want to have in our digestive system in there. And the aloe is awesome for just cleansing and making sure that your um, villi in your intestine are in absolute tip-top shape. 
Now, if, the, if waste is sitting around in your large intestine and your colon, it's going to be creating toxins. So if you're not going to the toilet every day, that's sitting around creating toxins. That's going to make you feel lethargic, sluggish, and possibly long-term create issues for you. So um, if, you're, if that's not happening for you, then you know think about what you're doing for your fiber and how you can improve it. If you're on our Herbal Life products, that should um, have alleviated itself in the first few weeks. Now I have posted up today on our Shape Up Oz page um, a video um, of Dr. Luigi Grattan. He's one of the key doctors with Herbal Life. And he actually did a video quite a few years ago now. He's quite young on the video. Um, it's a really, really good video about digestive health and about how your digestive system works he takes you through some models of what sorts of things can go wrong and explains what some things are i know we watched it recently with some um a weight loss a live weight loss challenge and we watched um and it talked about what diverticulosis is and how it works and there was a lady in the room who had diverticulosis who had no idea that's you know had that understanding so it's a really good little video um so if you want to check that out um, i've put the link here but i've also posted it up on the shape of oz facebook page so just a quick review of product use. Um, so products do work, and the only reason that people don't get results is either they take the product, they don't take them correctly, or they cheat too much. So just checking two meals a day, two shakes a day, sorry, one meal a day, but just cut back. Make sure you include a couple of protein-based snacks during the day. Uh, it's important to have your tablets three times a day. Somebody inquired on our Get Level 10 with Herbal Life um, Facebook group um, today why do we need to take the tablets three times a day well you don't eat all your meals in one sitting during the day or you like your body likes it for us to eat and spread out spread those things out we can't if we eat all that if we have all the tablets at one time then they, the body won't if it can't use them because there's too much at that time they just get passed through and wasted so they split them up so we've got the full intake three times a day to get absolute maximum absorption of all the all the goodies that are hiding in there um, with your herbal tea, herbal beverage and the water at least two liters a day. Be careful when it's really hot or if you've exercised, you will need significantly more. And exercise, working towards at least three times a week for 30 minutes. Um, and exercises will be um, one of our challenges in a few weeks time. Okay, so homework. Review your product use. Make sure you're using products correctly. Contact your coach if you need to. to you know, get some motivation or check a few things out. Jump on them um, to get healthy with Herbal Life. Sorry, get level 10 with Herbal Life page. And um, we can help you with some product there. And some other people might be able to help you with some questions that you may have. Uh, reading and looking at labels. Looking for that 5% fibre. And then also remembering stay focused. Review your goals. We're halfway.